everybody and welcome to this very special Christmas show from the science team at AUT University. I'm Professor Steve Pointing. And I'm Professor Alan Blackman. And today, Steve and I are going to show you how modern science can help explain some of the unanswered mysteries of Christmas. So you may be thinking, how does Santa get around the whole world in one night? Let's say that Santa needs to visit every one of the two billion children in the world. The average home has two and a half children, so that means he has to visit around 800 million homes. Because it becomes night at different times all around the globe, he actually has 48 hours to deliver all the presents. So that means he needs to get to around five houses every single second. The most likely explanation is that he uses an antimatter rocket on the back of his sleigh. Antimatter has the opposite charge to normal matter, and when they're combined together, they create a huge explosion of energy, blasting the sleigh forward at nearly the speed of light. NASA is studying this to use in their rocket engines, but it looks like Santa has already beaten them to it. So why doesn't anybody see Santa delivering presents? In nature, there are some lizards that change their skin color to blend into their surroundings and become virtually invisible. But this is very hard to reproduce using current technology. We think that Santa's sleigh does something simple, yet very effective. An American university recently developed a really simple cloaking device that uses special lenses to make things appear invisible. You can see in this picture that the scientist's hand is fully hidden when he waves it behind the lens. We think that Santa has covered his sleigh in these special lenses to make it invisible too. And so once Santa gets to your house, how does he fit down the chimney? Some chimneys are way too narrow for Santa and his jolly belly. Well, we've been doing some research ourselves. We think biology has the answer. Animals can often squeeze through spaces you might think are too small. Have a look at this octopus squeezing its entire body through a tiny hole in order to escape. Santa is a big chap, but he's also pretty squishy. So to squeeze down a chimney, he only needs the gap to be a little wider than his head. Then he can slide all the way down and put presents under the tree. So Santa needs to be a really flexible guy. Yeah, he must do lots of yoga and pilates when he's at the North Pole. But I guess the biggest question for you biologists at Christmas is... Does Rudolph's nose really glow? Fortunately, biology proves very nicely how his nose does indeed glow. It's because of something called bioluminescence. This occurs when a chemical called luciferin reacts with oxygen to produce light. It is present in many animals and plants all over the world. Bioluminescent squid and fish that live in the deep ocean use light to communicate with and to attract other organisms so that they can eat them. On land, there are bioluminescent fireflies, glowworms, beetles, and even cockroaches. Importantly, there are also bioluminescent plants called mosses, and these grow in the Arctic, which is, of course, where Santa and the reindeer live. Since we know that moss is one of the reindeer's favorite snacks, we think that the genes that allow luciferin to be produced were transferred to Rudolph when he nibbled on some bioluminescent moss, and that's why his nose glows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason Rudolph's nose glows red and not green like the moss is because of the blood inside his nose, much like your hand glows red if you put a torch behind it. You know, this has really made me appreciate the power of science. It's so much fun discovering how Santa delivers all the gifts around the world every year. That's right. And of course, science is really important in helping us understand everything about the world around us. So, on behalf of the science team at AUT University, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. What would you call Santa if he became a detective? I don't know. What would you call him? Santa Clues. Oh. <laughs>